questions 5 to 10 clarify the following as typical of so there are three options a b or c a option both chinese and japanese pagodas b option only chinese pagodas c option only japanese pagodas so these are three options and we have to match three options with the question number five six seven eight nine and ten so first of all we have to understand the questions so easy interior access to top that's the question number five yani ke aap andar se hi chhat par asani se ja sakte hain so easy interior access means uh, ladders or steps these words refers to ladder or steps uh, question number six tiles on eaves eaves means sides that uh, on the buildings four sides there are tiles so we have to find on which type of building there are the tiles whether it's chinese japanese or chinese or japanese both question number seven use an observation post so the observation post means uh, uh, a building which is used to uh, overlook the area so we can say that the word post refers to the tallest building or tower and uh, observation means look or uh, watch so observation refers watch or look over question number eight size of eaves up to half the width of the building so eaves means uh, sides uh, half means 50 percent that the size of the eaves should be 50 percent of total width of the building so 50 percent is the keyword because half is given here so it is possible that the 50 percent will be written in the reading passage number nine original religious purpose so we have to find which type of buildings are related to the religious purposes so the religious purposes uh, are the keywords so it means that in the reading section we can find the name of any religion and question number 10 flows fitting loosely over each other yani ke tamam manzilein ek dusre ke upar bahut dili thi matlab kya unke mein pillar nahi tha so fitting loosely over each other means uh, there was no main pillar or a building without any pillar so after this let's start trying to find the answers from question number 5 to 10 so first question is easy interior access to the top it means that there are ladders in a building and through these ladders we can go on the top and these ladders should be inside the building not outside the building so So in the this paragraph in the third line we have found the word inner staircases. So staircases are also used for the word access ladder or steps. So inner means staircases which are inside the building and through these staircases we go on the top and we have to find what type of building it was. As in China there were first introduced with buddhism and were attached to important temples the chinese built their pagodas in brick or stone with inner staircases so these buildings uh, are related to the chinese so it means our right answer for the question number five is option b only chinese pagodas so we can write b in front of question number five next is question number six tiles on eaves <laughs> tiles is the keyword and uh, tiles tiles no tiles no turn the page 
and we can see the whole tiles yes tiles tiles and eaves mean sides so here we have found the world uh, sides here this is the world side that refers to the world eaves and uh, we can see that the roof of a Japanese temple building can be made to overhang the sides of the structure by 50% or more of the building's overall width for the same reason. The builders of Japanese pagodas can seem further. So the eaves are in the Japanese pagodas is written here and then we if we read further for the same reason the builders of japanese pagoda seem to have further increased their weight by choosing to cover these extended eaves eaves mean size not with porcelain tiles of many chinese pagodas but with much heavier earthenware tiles so it means that uh, the builders of uh, Japanese pagoda seem to have further increased their weight by choosing to cover these extended eaves not with the processing tiles. Okay, the Japanese pagodas were made by the members, they not only used the processing tiles on the eaves, but also many Chinese pagodas, which are both the Chinese pagodas, they used the processing tiles on the eaves. But with much heavier earthenware tiles, बल्कि बहुत बारी मट्टी की tiles भी इस्तेमाल की. It means जो tiles थी use पर वो ना सिर्फ Japanese इस्तेमाल करते थे, बल्कि Chinese भी इस्तेमाल करते थे. तो Japanese ने चीनियों की नकल करते हुए processing की tiles तो लगाई, लेकिन इसके साथ साथ Japanese जो थे ना वो मट्टी की tiles, यानी earthenware tiles भी use करते थे. It means tiles जो थी use पर वो Japanese भी use कर रहे थे और Chinese भी use कर रहे थे. It means both. So a is the right answer, both Chinese and Japanese pagodas. So we can write A in front of question number 6. Question number 7. Use A as observation post. Observation means watch, look over. Post means tallest building or tower. So we can see that uh, in as in China there were then in the second line, the Chinese built uh, their pagodas in brick or stone with inner staircases and used them in the later centuries mainly as watchtowers. So Chinese used their buildings as watchtowers. So we can say that China, only Chinese. It means that B option is right for the question number 7. Watchtower means observation post. We can write B in front of question number 7. Next question number 8. Size of the eaves up to half the width of the building. Uh, half means 50%. Or your eaves ka size hai. Ya sides jo hai na wo total building up 50% honi chahiye ya aadha honi chahiye. So 50% is the main keyword. So the sides, eaves of the structure. 50% means half. Uh, more the buildings overall width. So this belongs to the Japanese pagoda, temple or pagodas. So we can write only Japanese pagodas. That's option C. Question number nine. Oh, original religious purpose. So there will be the name of any religious related to any type of pagoda, whether it's Chinese or Japanese or both. So Uh, the multi-story pagoda came to Japan from China in the 6th century as in China they were first introduced with Buddhism. So Buddhism is a religion and were attached to important temples. Temples means Gurdwara. So temples and Buddhism, these two words refers to the religious purpose and these buildings were first built in China. So we can say that is the right option is B for question number Nine. Question number ten. Floors fitting loosely over each other. यानी कि तमाम जो मंजिलें थीं वो एक एक दूसरे के ऊपर डील डाले थे मतलब क्या उनमें पिलर नहीं था. So 
Uh, another strange feature of Japanese pagoda is that because the building tapers with each successive floor plane being smaller than one below, none of vertical pillars. Yani ke, the Japanese pagoda si na, uh, un amartu me jo tha ke jo upper wali amarat thi, wo niche wali sorry, jo upper wali manzil thi, wo niche wali manzil se choti hoti thi. None of the vertical pillars or in which not any pillar nahi hote the that carry the weight of the building, which the building ka wazar utha sake. So it means that uh, these type of buildings are related to Japanese pagodas. So we can write the option C in front of question number ten.